Good morning. Uh, it's about 7.15 in the morning. I'm just, I've just entered the town of Kenton, Ohio. Sorry, I just passed the sign, otherwise I would have included it. Um, I am on a road, a car's coming, so sorry there'll be some noise. But anyway, um, I'm not sure if I've already said some of this, but I've done, uh, uh, so I took off on my next section. You know, I've sort of broken up the hike the last maybe two months into these sections where about every seventh or eighth day I get a motel and spend a day or two, depending on how long it takes, to plan for the next uh, week or so. And that might sound like I just have to choose a route, but actually there's a lot more to it because I have to find out if there are campgrounds or not. So I use a one app to look for campgrounds in that area. And then if not, I have to try to stitch together calling cities and finding out if they have a city park or somewhere that they'll let me pitch my tent in. And so the, and then once I've identified all the campgrounds, then I have to call and find out, okay, do I need to reserve? Is it, are all the sites possibly gonna get taken? And they all have different systems to pay with. It is literally, it's an all day project just to plan approximately a seven or eight day period. So this time I planned a, I got really lucky this time. I got, I planned, I think a 10 day period because I, yeah, I planned from the 15th of September through the 25th. And it took me about the same time as it had been taking me the last two times to do like seven or eight days. So uh, I think I'm getting a little more efficient at it. But um, anyway, when I hit that September 25th, which is, uh, by the way, my mom's birthday. So mom, if you're watching this, uh, shout out to you for your birthday. Um, on that day on the 25th, I will have 299 miles left and I will be in the town of Washington, Pennsylvania. And so from there, I will do one final planning session. And I think what I'm going to do is just, I, I would estimate it's about 11 or 12 days to do that final march. Uh, depending on how the towns line up for camping and so forth. But really, the bottom line is I can push more miles, especially at the end of a hike. I could do much longer days, but it all comes down to where I can find places to camp. So uh, anyway, so if I project out 11 or 12 days and then maybe, maybe throw in one more, maybe what I'll do is You're getting a real taste of what this hike has been like. Um, so anyway, uh, perhaps I will take both the 25th and the 26th. Maybe I'll take a, maybe I'll do, uh, I'm sorry, the 26th and 27th. Maybe I'll do a double zero and so that I could rest up well. So if I add in one more day for that, I'm estimating that I'll probably finish October 8th through the 10th, somewhere in that window. And that'll be at, there's uh, two adjacent state parks in Delaware, right on the, right on the Delaware Bay. Um, one of them is called DuPont State Park, or no, Fort DuPont State Park. And the other, I don't recall the name, but, so I'm gonna make one of those two my final destination. They both uh, go right up to the water, so. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll check in again later.